Hello and welcome to Inkscape. For this tutorial we're going to take a multicolor logo and trace it into some vectors so we can import it into AutoCAD. Step one, let's open up our logo. File, open, and we'll find our logo. I'll we'll use Surrey logo one and open. We're going to embed the image and we'll make this a little bigger. So you can see we've got a multicolor logo. We've got a dark gray, light gray, some greens, and a white background. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to make all the greens the same color, but we can start breaking this apart. First thing, select our object, and we're going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap. In here, we're going to select Colors, and we're going to turn it all the way down. Click Update, and then we can see. So we've got the dark gray. Let's bump it up one more update there's our light gray and one more update there's our green so that looks pretty good to make it a little crisper we'll uncheck smooth and that'll stop corners from being rounded over and update looks good okay and you can see we had some color change over here let's close that window and take a close look at this image take their node tool first thing click on that background right click and delete it so now we've got no background in the image. You can click on the dark gray, move it up, and nothing on the dark gray layer is going to be deleted because all these objects were dark gray in the final in the image. We'll select the green layer and move the green layer down. So you can see we've got three layers there. Make sure to save the file at this point because Inkscape does have a tendency to crash. Now let's go save as and Surrey logo test okay we'll save that to my desktop you should be saving this to your data drive and your flash drive okay so here's our images we need to split it up into the stuff that we're not going to use select my node tool and I'm going to select this gray layer I'm going to break it into pieces so path break apart now each piece is individual Holding down the shift key, I can select all the components I don't want. And in this one, this is most of the components. Now, if you don't get them all the first try, that's okay. We can always come back and select more later. I can't seem to get that T. Select all that geometry. That's most of it. Right click and delete. Oh, you can see I forgot to delete the original picture, so I can click on that. And delete that as well. And I've only a few more things. Hold that shift key again. And delete. And one more. Delete. So I've freed it up and I've only got that one piece. Now I'm going to do the same to the green. As you can see, I deleted all the non-essential green items. So now I've got it broken into three separate layers. Now for AutoCAD, we want to select these. Well, let's, this one's all together, so let's just select these and move them down. There's that piece, we'll move that into place. And we'll select the top and move it in. Do a little, little adjustment to that other building. And there we go. There's our logo. Now, this isn't ideal for AutoCAD right now. So I'm just going to move those parts back apart. And we can move them into place once they're in AutoCAD. Grab that. Move that up. So here's our file ready for AutoCAD, broken into several layers for printing. I'm going to go File, Save As and save it as a DXF, something AutoCAD will open. And we'll call this Surrey Fin because it's the final copy. And we'll save it to the desktop. Now you should be saving it to your data drive your flash, and your flash drive. Save, 
roadmaps okay and okay there you go multicolored logo in inkscape